Hi, I'm Kate Culkin. I am at the Providence Athenaeum on October 22nd, um, and I just spoke about my book, uh, Harriet Hosmer, A Cultural Biography, which the uh, University of Massachusetts Press is going to uh, publish next month in November. Um, I spoke primarily tonight about uh, Harriet Hosmer uh, and her relationship to the women's rights advocate. She was a 19th century sculptor who was uh, really credited uh, with being, well, opening the field of sculpture to women, was one of the first famous American women sculptors. She lived in Rome for much of her career. Uh, she did neoclassical works. Um, and one thing I'm very interested in Harriet Hosmer is sort of explaining how she sort of had this incredible career at a time when we don't sort of associate women pursuing uh, careers, or particularly sculptor and living abroad on their own. Uh, so tonight what I focused on was her relationship um, with the women's rights advocates and how they played a critical role in her career, um, starting at the very beginning, uh, when she was only 22, before she'd even moved to Italy, uh, Lydia Mariah Child uh, wrote a rave review um, and said if she kept on as she'd begun, she would do much for the cause of womanhood. Um, and from that time on, uh, she really had uh, many advocates who sort of saw her success as critical to the women's rights movement and actively promoted her. Um, and at, for a time, Hosmer sort of uh, took their endorsement, but didn't necessarily uh, commit herself to women's rights. Um, uh, later on in her career, she never becomes primarily an activist. She's always a sculptor, but she really does sort of start re start reaching out to women's rights advocates like Susan B. Anthony. And she's ordered the revolution to be sent to her in Rome. Um, uh, she does a little bit of work for suffrage. Uh, and tonight I also spoke about some of her sculptures of women, including some of her most famous, including Beatrice Cenci uh, and Zenobia in Chains. Um, so if you have any uh, more questions, uh, you can go to my uh, website, which is a biographersblog.com, and feel happy to contact me there and uh, talk to you more about Harriet. Um, so thank you, and thank you to the Providence Athenaeum.